So I'm back again. I was going to do a singing video, but now I've decided, looking through my ideas of a of YouTube videos, so I was looking through them yesterday, if you wish to you know, over a shower, um, and I saw this thing that says how to remain unbothered, and someone else posted it, I'm literally just copying, slash taking inspiration from, and I literally have absolutely no notes, so I'm going to just go off from the top of my head, but I think I'm actually a great advocate for this, so we're going to just hope that it goes really well. Um, I'm sure it will. <laughs> um, so yeah, how to make my word? I feel like the most important thing for this is to realise the difference between you and someone else and make separation between someone else's projections and thoughts and behaviours for themselves and your own insecurities and your own thoughts because everyone's um, like your own insecurities your own thoughts and your own goals are completely different from someone else and they and obviously prioritizing yourself over other people for a start and especially over other people's projections like that's just like you're not doing anyone any favors by internalizing someone else's projections it's actually impossible not to do at times and not everyone's done it i'm sure every single person in the world um but Holding space for someone, because everyone has their own rubbish, narcissists, people with mental health, everyone, anyone of anyone, anything has, has flaws, okay, I'm not saying I'm flawed, everyone's flawed, but holding space for that in terms of be, doing what you can, at the same time as putting yourself first and like focusing on your own goals is like the way to be, um, and in that way, and when you are clear over that, I feel like you just don't, you don't, you're not bothered about what other people um, have to project on you. Because I feel like understanding narcissism and how they project and how narcissists are. I have a video about narcissists if you feel like checking it out. But understanding that people are going to put their own crap on you, which is honestly nothing to do with you. Like, most of the time, like, I have had a situation in the past where I came into contact with a sociopath um, and I, I I beat myself up for ages after because I beat myself up for all the stuff they would say to me where really I learned recently that it's a sociopathic trait to feel that they have to manipulate and uh, dominate and like um, basically yeah basically manipulate someone if they feel they can like it's like a sociopath thing so there I am beating myself up because I feel like I've like I'm the problem where really it was it was the sociopath's problem and I wasn't the problem in the first place it doesn't matter because I've learned a lot about myself through that experience uh well it doesn't matter but I mean I've, I've obviously got some things out of that experience um looking at the silver lining but you know it's just things like that like you can't internalize someone else's beliefs about you and you can't internalize their beliefs about themselves either because sometimes people will try and force their own beliefs upon you like if they're like oh you had to have like a really good job unfortunately even i feel like this is just a thing that loads of people do but i feel like, like parents like if they like have you ever heard of that mum that like tries to live her life through her child like a mum can be like you know, if she hasn't had like a dancing career and she's always wanted a dancing career, there's that show called Dance Moms and like the mums like literally live their, some of them, it's like they're living their lives through their children and they like try and work their children really hard to get this career that they could never have themselves for their children. Do you know what I mean? They should be allowed to be children in my opinion. Obviously everyone's got a different way. And then I don't want to project my shit onto the Dance Moms because the children probably are just thriving being dancers. Do you know what I mean? So anyway i'm getting off off topic here it's really just that's just more of a gossip mentality isn't it um but oh my gosh i've literally just tangented already so um yeah how to remain unbothered um so i also think having a um resilient slash life has ups and downs slash it's not going to stay bad forever the good time, everything that's good will come to an end kind of mentality. And that sounds really depressing saying everything that's good must come to an end. But at the end of the day, I like to go from the mindset that God made us as a person alone. We were not with anyone else when we were in the womb. <laughs> <laughs> well, we were with our mums technically, but we like, when we were made, we were only with ourselves. And we have these like brain connections to other people and things and everything, um, which is part of our humanity, I suppose. But 
like at the same time we are intrinsically made in God's image I believe and that we won't we don't n like need okay we need but like what I mean is we are intrinsically made as one person so if something with a relationship because they say even in marriage it's like till death do us part do you know what I mean so realizing everything good must come to an end um is is helpful and just just having like a an ability to be able to remain confident in yourself when others aren't confident in you so yeah this goes with the next thing i suppose just like knowing yourself being confident in yourself um and just like I'm going to try and keep this video short as well because I feel like I do ramble for like literally like 20-30 minutes at a time and I think that's fine but I don't want every single video of mine to be like 30 minutes long and I'm literally just there going on like 30 tangents like I don't mind it like I actually don't mind it at all but I think having it having like a mix is best <laughs> um so yeah like I suppose yeah just knowing yourself um a good support network oh self-love obviously when it comes to like, knowing yourself like self-love all that stuff I'm not gonna go into that because I feel like that's really like well well understood in society these days um a lot about self-love and self-validation and all that stuff on the internet etc um so yeah having a good support network and good people around you and just people that and i feel like as well like this is like slightly separate but i've noticed recently that i spoke about love languages in my last video and realizing that everyone doesn't like love the same is really helpful and not not like having people around you that might not necessarily be exactly like you is like is actually really healthy because I feel like a lot of people like look for people like themselves so they look for similarities but at the same time if you come across someone that shows love languages in a different way and maybe they just they aren't I feel like I've heard this thing as well before where people don't like each other because one person displays um something a trait that this other person hasn't come to grips with in themselves or this person doesn't like something about themselves so they hate this other person because they've got that they em embellish that that character trait that this person doesn't want in themselves so they project their dislike towards themselves on this person so yeah i just that's like a bit of a random thing but i just find that interesting i just like to impart impart knowledge that i like find interesting okay but anyway let's not i'm already on seven minutes i'm gonna i'm gonna wrap up now because i feel like remaining unbothered is just a thing um being being focused on your goals and knowing your own wants needs interests and meeting your own needs because if you're I don't want to sound selfish here um I don't want to say you have to be like a lone wolf and you have to be like independent or like you have to be away from friends and family or like you can't be part of a society or a community or anything I'm not saying that at all but I'm saying being able to meet your own needs um be in terms of a job um like having whatever job you want in terms of like if you need like a stable income getting that for yourself and not expecting it to arrive on your doorstep or you know just anything simple like you know understanding when you feel a certain emotion and what that means to you and how to handle it and stuff um can just help you remain unbothered by other people um and also it's way remaining unbothered is not just about other people it can be about yourself and about the stuff that you do and like sometimes because people have really negative behavior sometimes in themselves and sometimes it's about controlling your own emotions and your own feelings so that you don't get bothered by a situation that might not even be to do with people and just not allow yourself to go into like a negative behavior kind of moment and yeah i mean it's just a few things i'm literally not going to go on now i'm literally going to end it right there and i'm not going to be like oh, okay well, i'm just gonna chat for like five minutes subscribe if you want don't if you don't be happy it's a short video <laughs> that's good for me i mean i'm happy it's a short video i don't know i also feel like i'm getting a bit like instructive on these videos i don't want it to be like that i want it to be like a general discussion i mean of one but you can think your own thoughts so really it's a it's a it's a group discussion in some ways Okay, I'm gonna go. Bye!